for those who don't know, I used to be a resident of the great state of California. And uh, actually, now to mention it, I think today marks the two years that said, uh, let's say, um, I escaped California, refugee out of California, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's been two years now. And then we had this whole situation of this year going on. And uh, the great governor over there in California decided for the Modelo flu, you can't do anything because everything's locked down. But he can do anything he wants. People can't do anything they want. The great citizens of California can't do anything they want. But he certainly can do whatever he wants. And now he got caught for doing whatever he wants. And here is his weak excuse. Or better yet, here is his good excuse for what. Uh, and that is very soberly acknowledged that a few weeks ago, uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. Uh, my wife and I, a friend that I've known for almost 20 years, and. Uh, and a friend that had, well, put a lot of time and energy into his 50th birthday. It was in Napa, which was in the orange status, relatively loose compared to some other counties. Uh, it was to be an outdoor uh, uh, restaurant, and we started the, well, the program started at 4 o'clock. It was one of those early reservations. I got there a little bit late at 4.30, uh, and as soon as I sat down at uh, the larger table, I realized it was a little larger group. Uh, than I had anticipated. Uh, and I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up and walked back, got in my car, and drove back uh, to my house. Instead, I chose to sit there with my wife uh, and a number of other couples that were outside the household. And you can quibble about the guidelines, et cetera, et cetera, but the spirit of what I'm preaching all the time uh, was contradicted, and I got to own that. And so I want to apologize to you uh, because I need to preach and practice, not just preach and not practice. And I've done my best to do that. Uh, we're all human. We all fall short sometimes. Uh, we've been out, and I think, for three times since. In fact, I know it's been three times because I remember all of those dinners very, very vividly uh, since February, just three times. Uh, twice with my wife by myself outdoors, and then this one occasion uh, with a larger group. And there were just a few extra people there uh, than the spirit of what I am promoting. Uh, and so if we're going to minimize mixing, you gotta, you got to own up to that. So uh, I just want folks to know that. Paid for our dinner, uh, and we, uh, you know, we had an early dinner, but it didn't matter. Uh, I shouldn't have been there. I should have turned back around. And uh, so when that happens, you got to... You pay the price, but you also own the mistake, and you don't ever make it again. And you have my word on that. And just know this has not been a practice I've been indulged in in the past. I, I take it very seriously, uh, what we are promoting, uh, and have been doing so for many, many months. And I expect you should expect nothing less of me, and I expect more from myself. And you have that commitment and my resolve in that respect as well. So. So he can do basically anything he want, but how dare anybody else have a job, have a business open during this time? So he can go attend a birthday party, right? But nobody else can. Nobody can have more than whatever 10 people in their house for Thanksgiving or Christmas in California. Oh, yeah. He didn't wear a mask. He realizes it was a larger group. He should have left. Should have practiced with a peach, but he didn't. In the spirit. You gotta remember, it's in the spirit. Also, see, he's been out three times. I already believe that. What else did he say? I had to write it down. So, what price is he gonna pay for breaking his own rules with his snotty self? What's he, what, what, what's gonna happen to him? Because... We, we get shamed. I'm not saying we. I don't live in the state anymore. I'm not a citizen anymore. You know, I do have a license to that state still. But, um, so, what is the normal people going to do if they break that rule? They get fined or something weird like that. I don't know if I get fined out there, but they get shamed. But him, 
Ah, it's all good. I made a mistake. But you're sitting here on TV, basically sitting here like a dictator, telling people what they should do for Thanksgiving. How many people should do um, be in their house, shutting down everything, shutting down the whole entire state, three largest cities, one of the three, four largest cities in the whole country. I'm not so much San Diego. Not like they do whatever they want out there, but it's not the point. So everybody else has to shut down, do whatever, especially San Francisco. People have to lose their jobs and everything. But him, oh, it's just a mistake. And uh, in the spirit, I should have practiced whatever. It's, shut your ass up. For, let's say this, people of California. Anybody from California, at this point in time, you can do whatever you want. Because he can do whatever you want. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Because he can do whatever he wants. So you can do whatever you want. Open the business up. Do whatever you want because this idiot right here, they say he can do whatever he want. The hypocrisy of these people, the hypocrites, the what's good for me, what's not good for you. I can do whatever I want, but you can't. And if you get caught, I'm just going to blink 20,000 times and try to snivel my way out of this. And people think Trump is a dictator and Trump is bad. No, these freaking, these governors, these politicians, especially these lefty politicians, they ain't no good. They ain't no good. But I've been preaching this. I've been saying this for the longest time. Like I said, I'm starting to wonder, I'm trying to wonder if freaking California was ever blue this time around in the election. I wonder if they was red and they got fraud too going on out there because I can't imagine people keep voting blue especially for matter of fact who voted for this guy who voted for this idiot because I wasn't there when they was voting maybe I was but I wasn't trying to vote I was trying to move but who voted for this idiot please somebody tell me that because now you got stuck with this if I was y'all I don't do my best to kick this governor ass him out of here because he's an idiot you can do whatever you want it's a dictator idiot but I don't know. It's up to you, people of California, to decide what you want. What's best for you. Because apparently, he thinks what's best for you ain't best for him. But with that being said, um, I got a parlor now. And it's at Franchise TV. So if you want to join parlor, it's better than Twitter, better than Facebook, better than Instagram. You can say what you I would say say what you want, but it's free speech basically. So I'm on there, and um, just have to plug that in. That being said, uh, if you haven't done it already, like, share this video, subscribe if you haven't done it. It's free. And with that being said, I'm going to uh, take some Advil because now I got a headache watching that video. To realize how stupid these people in this country, especially the ones who run these states, really are. So, that means that y'all stay safe, y'all stay out the way, and get out the streets. Okay, I may not get out the streets, but whatever. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.